made the castle, which was advanced way before its time, and proves to us that the most beautiful things can come out of the most unexpected chaos. Stay with us in this video as we expose these top 5 mind-blowing facts about King Ludwig Castle. Number 5. Walt Disney took inspiration from the architecture. You turn on the TV to catch up on your favorite Disney cartoon or movie. And here comes the famous castle with a shooting star across the sky in the intro. Has it ever crossed your mind why the little castle? Probably not. King Ludwig Castle, also known as the Neuschwanstein Castle, was an inspiration to Walt Disney that he used to create the popular Cinderella cartoon in 1950. The castle had transcended its geographical location in Germany and found itself in Disney World, Florida. So the next time you take your kids to the Cinderella Castle at Disney World, remember to tell them it came from the fairy tale world of King Ludwig. Oh, and yeah, this same castle inspired the Sleeping Beauty Castle at Disneyland in Paris too, the city of love. How convenient for the Sleeping Beauty Castle found to have been located in the City of Love with the story of Prince Charming waking his love with a kiss. Ah oh, well. And regarding Ludwig Castle, its inspiration would come from a place least expected. Stay with me as I unveil the story of the design and the designer of this magnificent edifice later on in this video. Number 4. It was built in the 19th century. Have you ever ordered something which looked so good online only to receive a substandard product? Looks can be deceptive sometimes, but fortunately the new Schwenstein castle isn't substandard, only a tricky look. Although King Ludwig Castle looked so medieval and gothic, its foundations were laid in the 19th century. The first stone of this edifice was laid in September 1869, a year later when work actually began on the site. Talking about gothic designs and crazy castle histories, you might want to check out this video on everything about Drommel and Castle Ireland. As a young boy, the king spent most of his time in the Hohenschwangau Castle, a medieval-inspired architecture with decorations from legends and poetry. After he became king in 1864, he built the new Hohenschwangau Castle, a better version of the original, to suit his fantasy and idea of royalty. This elaborate building sits comfortably on a rock ledge over the Paulette Gorge in the Bavarian Alps. Before we move on to the next incredible fact, remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for exclusive access to our unique content. Now, hit the subscribe button for a front row seat at our next mystery upload. Number 3. Christian Jank was the designer of the castle. If you thought designing buildings was a job reserved for only architects, you might have to think again. Jank, a native of Munich, was a skilled scenic painter and theatrical designer who worked on the scenery for Richard Wagner's opera Lohengrin. His works drew the attention of King Ludwig, so Jank was commissioned to design the Neuschwanstein Castle, which he did meticulously. So the next time you doubt yourself about a project or something, just think of Christian Jank. All you may need is a little spark of inspiration and creativity. You just might surprise yourself. Number 2. The castle was high-tech. King Ludwig Castle was years ahead of its contemporaries. Guess one technology that was available in this building back then. It had free Wi-Fi and voice recognition technology to unlock doors. Just kidding. Although the castle had a medieval touch, it had technology practically unheard of during that time. The building had running water throughout, a hot and cold water faucet in the kitchen, telephones, lifts, electric bells, hot air central heating system, and many more. You get the idea. This castle was the Silicon Valley type of smart house then. Number 1. King Ludwig died before his creation was fully completed. This beautiful story would end in an anticlimax. The initial three-year schedule dragged longer than usual. Ludwig temporarily moved into the castle in 1884, but many setbacks delayed the project's construction. This fairy tale vision didn't turn out as he imagined. The construction of the castle raked a considerable sum of debt. Some sources estimated it cost 7 million Deutschmark. It remains unknown whether the crippling debt contributed to his demise as he eventually drowned himself. Who knew there could be so much behind the seemingly simple design? We see every time we are about to watch a Disney movie. Which of these facts intrigued you the most? Let us know in the comment section. 